This week on Will It Shoe, we'll be taking what can only reasonably be described as a proper Bobby Dazzler and seeing if we can turn it into a pair of shoes. If you were around during the 80s or 90s, or have been to any festivals in the last 10 years or so, then you should hopefully recognise this week's item, the shell suit. The next evolutionary step on from the tracksuit, the shell suit was introduced in the late 80s and was popular with the hip hop and breakdancing scenes in the US and amongst street style fans in the UK. The bright colours and garish patterns were seen to offer something new and modern at the time. At the turn of the century, the shell suit's popularity plummeted, with the style being seen as outdated and essentially condemned to an easy choice for an 80s themed fancy dress party. It wasn't until the resurgence of pre love fashion that the item came back into vogue, with it now being a staple of vintage stores and a must-have essential for anyone who owns a pair of Dirty Club C's or Workout Pluses. This particular one is made from a disgustingly unsustainable polyamide nylon, which if you've watched any of our previous episodes, you might know is a material that is technically recyclable, but not really in a way that's positive for the environment. I'm now very gladly going to remove this and pass it off to the workshop so they can have a bash at turning it into shoes. Oh no! <laughs> I don't know what I expected from those, but that I guess they're as bad as I thought, and that nothing about the shoe quality. Just oh, gross. <laughs> um, <laughs> what do you think? It might be a bit more your style, you know. Everyone has a different style. I do like the. Uh, effort that's gone into the heel there that gets a small nod of appreciation you can kind of see that like the, the material hasn't really like stuck to the the backing properly might be better on this side there we go so it looks a bit creased and stuff don't know if there's like a coating on it or whether it's just the nature of the synthetic materials but a common theme from the workshop seems to be that like these synthetic materials are just so unpleasant to work with um, they never really do what you want them to do. They don't feel nice. They don't look great to me, but I'm team natural fibers all the way. Yeah, it's not bias when it's the planet, Oliver. <laughs> the nicest part of these for me is the bloody calf leather lining inside. Honestly, like the, the just put my nails on it. <laughs> these might be one to uh, pair up with the high viz at a rave. Who do you think is going to win best dressed at the rave? Shell suit or high vis? Vote in the comments, please. Uh, you know, they have shooed. I think the, the, the more wider idea with this was can we take things from vintage shops, unsold items from vintage shops and use them some way. Um, so let me know, would you be more likely to wear these than the shell suit that it was before it was sh shooed? <laughs> yeah, let's... Let us know in the comments what you think. Uh, hit the subscribe button to see which material we end up using next. And please do check out the back catalogue. And until next time, see you then. Uh, we make like YouTube videos. Um, that's what all of these are, because they're all just like... 
old, weird materials. 